Hi, and welcome to another edition of ATI's Quick Clips. I'm Baron Kendrick, Product Manager at ATI for the Standard Tool Changer product line, and I've been with ATI since 2014. My focus is bringing products to market that deliver new value and meet real customer needs in robotic automation. Today, I'm excited to introduce to you the newest member of the ATI Standard Tool Changer product family, the QC7. I'll tell you what it is, what makes it so unique, and how it can benefit your application. So what is the QC7, and why would I want to buy it? You may already be familiar with ATI's world-class robotic tool changers, but just in case you're not, here are the basics. A robotic tool changer is a coupling device that attaches to a robot arm between the wrist and the end effector. It allows the flexibility to automatically exchange tooling while supporting payloads and passing utilities like electrical signals, pneumatics, fluids, and other media to the end effector. ATI's newest robotic tool changer, the QC7, is a compact, lightweight, and feature-packed solution for small industrial robots and cobots up to the 16 kilogram payload class. So how does it work? Well, like all tool changers, the QC7 consists of a master side, which mounts to the robot wrist or interface plate, and a tool side, which mounts to the end effector. The QC7 is pneumatically actuated, meaning it uses air pressure to selectively move the internal piston between the locked and unlocked states, which in turn engages and disengages ATI's patented ball lock mechanism with a fail-safe connection between master and tool. Once the tool changer is successfully coupled, electrical and pneumatic utilities are then able to pass from the master through the tool and into the end effector. What are the unique features of the QC7? In other words, how does it make my life easier? What does it do for me? The QC7 is ATI's first tool changer that can direct mount to robots with an ISO 31.5 millimeter robot pattern on the wrist. For these robots, an interface plate is not needed, which reduces the overall stack height and weight to minimize end effector loads on the robot. To further reduce stack height, the QC7 also has optional in-body sensing for the locked and unlocked conditions. No need for additional sensor interface plates or sensor adjustment. For end effectors which need air for grippers or vacuum, the QC7 has five integrated air pass-through ports. On the tool side, these can be configured by the customer for radial or axial pass-through, depending on application needs. Many applications also need electrical pass-throughs in the tool changer to connect common end effector I.O. And the QC7 supports this with a variety of optional electrical pass-through modules. Now, I mentioned the QC7 was feature-packed, but probably the most valuable new feature is the addition of an optional integrated tool hook for convenient tool storage during tool change. This means tool storage just got easier, less expensive, and more compact for the QC7. Let's talk about specs and how the QC7 can benefit your application. The QC7 is designed for both industrial and collaborative robots and can support end effectors and payloads up to 35 pounds or 16 kilograms. With an overall stack height of just 1.8 inches and a combined weight of 0.6 pounds, the QC7 is strong, compact, and lightweight. This preserves more of the robot's lifting power for your end effector. For a range of applications, from material handling to machine tending, pick and place, or basic assembly, I think you'll find the QC7 has the right combination of features and capability for the job. Thank you for tuning in to another edition of ATI's Quick Clips. For more info on the QC7 or any of ATI's other products, please reach out to us via our website at ati-ia.com, and we'll make sure you get the right product for your application.